Right, folks, um, I've just been through uh, Leicester. Well, I've just walked through the High Cross, or High Cost, as I call it. Uh, the uh, parking fees in that place are absolutely ridiculous. Um, that is, I've just paid £3.50 for, I don't know, I don't even know how long I was in there. I weren't in there long. I popped in the uh, Apple shop uh, looking for some bits and bobs. Uh, I then had a quick uh, walk around town. I've seen a few lads uh, who stopped me and they've had the photo taken with me, which is uh, uh, very uh, much appreciated. And uh, that's it. So then I came out and uh, I was walking back through High Cost and uh, I walked past Auntie Annie's. There it is, folks. Auntie Annie's. Uh, the people of Leicester will know where this is in the High Cost. It's uh, on the bottom floor. And it's near next as you're going out. It's the last food thing uh, as you're going out. So, um, I picked this up to review. Uh, they look very nice, to be fair. This one is a cheese and jalapeno uh, pretzel. And uh, it cost me the grand total of £4. Pound, four British pound. <coughs> yes, speechless. Makes me choke. Four pound for a pretzel. What the hell is that all about? Right? Uh, it must be something to do with the uh, cost of having a stall or whatever it is in high cost. It must be as abs absolutely astronomical. Uh, there was one girl behind there. They do different kind of pretzels. They do mini dogs uh, wrapped in bacon, hot dogs wrapped in bacon, uh, all that kind of stuff. Drinks, sweets, uh, sweets, I mean, as in cakes and stuff. Um, so anyway, I've been in there. It was warm. Um, it's still a bit warm. I've got out of high cost, drove down to Alfred's on uh, Abbey Road and um, parked up there. I've got to pop in there, just have a quick look around. Um, so let's uh, let's um, let's tuck in. For the visually impaired, I'm eating it. It's a... Uh, it's dry. There's not that much cheese flavour to it. The jalapenos are hot, as you would expect them to be. It's a bit dry, it's a bit stodgy. It needs a drink with it, to be fair. Um, It's all right. It's it needs more cheese in it. They did a plain pretzel for three pound ninety, and um, for an extra ten p, I thought I'd go with the cheese and the jalapenos. Bit of a shame, really, because I was really looking forward to this. Because I do love a good pretzel. And I love jalapenos and I love cheese. I think there's better things out there. Oh, that bit was nice. That were a bit... The cheese were a bit burnt. Mm, that bit were nice. But I think there's better things out there. For four pound. Do you know what? Three quid. And I'd say this was about the price for it. 
I think four pounds, um, a little bit too much. But I would guess that's down to the rent they have to pay in high cost. It's a shame. Right, so my verdict is, folks, Auntie Annie, what does that rhyme with, Auntie Annie? I'll leave it up to you, folks. Put your comments down below. Auntie Annie needs to put some cheese, more cheese in. I'll tell you what, if they did one of these with a Stilton cheese, that would be absolutely perfect. I think basically what they've done, if you can see before they devour it all, it looks like they've sprinkled cheese on the top. And I think they probably do with mixing the cheese into the pretzel. Probably needs a bit more salt as well. Which is a shame, because I was really looking forward to this. So. I don't think it's worth four quid. I think it needs more cheese. But don't just go on my opinion. No doubt some of the good people of Leicester will absolutely love it there and say I'm talking complete shit. And if that's the case, that's brilliant. But too expensive, needs more cheese, needs more salt. And if you buy one, buy a drink. All right, folks, laters.